everyone and welcome to the first part of this Let's Play Be Evil Dungeons 3. Pretty sure it's season 5 though, I'm not 100% sure. Because I've been caught a wee bit flat footed with this series. I didn't even realise this game was out until about half an hour ago. Whew. And so yeah, that little intro you just seen there, I completely slapped it up in like 5 seconds. I'm completely... As I said, caught flat-footed. There is a wee bit of good news, though. There will be a giveaway to coincide with this um, Let's Play for the first... I'd say, let's make it two weeks. Because I have a gift copy of Dungeons 2 to give away to someone. And to a random commenter on this or any other part of Dungeons 3 Let's Play Be Evil, in the next two weeks, a random commenter will get a copy of it. Dungeons 2, that is. As well as one of the DLCs, the pumpkin one. So yeah. But without any further ado, let's jump right into the game campaign. I'm gonna go to new campaign. Yeah, main campaign. The First shadow level. of absolute evil. The shadow of absolute evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target. A dark elf named Talia. Let's play. A long, long time ago. The absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now. In a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges, the occasional trick played on the little snots, there just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal, an unknown continent as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with devious evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out, and that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. Oh, wow. That was a wee bit loud there at the end. You gotta love the wee sort of information and all the other stuff in this. Just love its parody sort of feel. And I'm guessing that there is the vessel in mind. That dark elf. So 
So yes, we're loading. I've only done the... Oh, that's something we forgot to mention actually as well at the beginning. I knew I forgot something. I'm doing the first part in the beta. Level 1 is going to be in the beta 4.2. After that, everything will be in the full release game. So remember, everything you see, there will be final tweaks and all that. This isn't the final release Thanos, version. Hero of the totally Eastern Kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Tristram with his comrades to see his foster daughter Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered, animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. Makes sense. But yes, just as I was saying, remember, beta, everything's not final at this point. It'll probably be pretty close, but there's probably a few wee minor alterations to balance and stuff. The shadow of the far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors, and there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod in it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, 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 I, mean, I mean, for the, for the light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be Ow. wise to stay out of the lantern light. Okay, I thought we'd be able to move through it, but we can't, we just take damage. Oh! Are we getting credits coming up on the screen already? The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed. But it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. I'm just looking, is there anything down here? Hmm. Oh damn, he's already walked away. Shadow! Because it would be worth going back and trying that other road, I don't think, so let's just keep going. The shadow of absolute evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. 
The shadow's target was close, so close. Talia, the dark elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> May the goddess be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know, the mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent! May the light of the goddess shine upon you and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at uh, the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or uh, uh, something like that. I like that. The night is dark and full of terriers. Saving. Oh no, she's going away. We got to go chase her. I want to build my dungeon. The storyline is good. Oh look, 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 more credits. Shameless advertising for Sebastian. Didn't get a chance to read your second name. It looked like Nas something. Uh oh, where is he going? Ah no, he's coming this way. Can you head back that way now, please? Thank you. A wee bit faster would be nice. I'm guessing I've got to jump up here. Ooh, it looks like Halloween when it gets close. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Let's possess. Just have a wee sneaky, sneaky, wiki bye way. I'm guessing we possess this guy. What can I do as you? <laughs> Let's go this way. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimly, King of the Oh, it's Grimly. And I am used to the cold. Oh, I wait to hear what Grimly had to say. I have no need of any stupid lamp shining into me eyes. Now I'm stuck with that damn pointy ear. I, I mean, uh, my good friend Thanos is foster daughter. Cursing. A dark elf is a dark elf, and nothing will change that. The girl will always be tainted. Should have cut her ears off when I had the chance. Enough chit chat, men. You stay here and secure the area. I have to go check my invention. Stay alert. I can feel something evil lurking in the area. And it's not just that damn pointy eared. I mean, that elf. After this cliched monologue, Grimly disappeared into the darkness. The impatient evil shadow set off again. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, the sun. What's up here? Nothing there. Back down this way. I just can't imagine what Grimly is meant to be. And, uh... In Yorg. the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes! With lanterns began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Can I get up now? I'm glad to see so many of you here of your own free will. Okay, sneak through there. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. She's mine. Let's get her. Finally, the time had come and the shadow of the past is in the... My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm... 
happy to take this orphanage and blub, blub. orphanage and destroy it utterly and all of you with it. Yes. What did she say? Die. I'll tear you to pieces. She's powerful. I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it's over 9,000. Unimagined powers surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. It's over 9,000. The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam, while screaming, Kamehameha! DBZ reference, Meanwhile, again. In the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh, yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. Yeah. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, uh -huh. but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the many and wasting oh. evil's new favorite hench person. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> There we go. We've got Twistrum level two. In ruins, Talia, the Dark Elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults, her first dungeon. All right, so we've got treasury, gobbler farm, hideout, orc, goblins, and naga. It's our new things for this. What's this? Hellish. The game's too easy for you, click hellish. I think we're going to leave it on regular for now. Yes. We'll probably do the first two levels, maybe this, and then leave it for the full game's release. Because the first level's kind of short, it was more like storyline. Like a prolonged cinematic kind of thing. Because there was no real sort of gameplay to it. Twistrum looked like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. That's good. What? What have I done? Oh no! I've fallen to evil again. Father will be beside himself. He was right when he said, You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Things, pillaging and showing those nasty goody two shoes where the hammer hangs. 
They just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. While Tanya was delivering a typical villainous monologue, something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued again. Greetings. <laughs> <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. <sighs> right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved revenge! I don't know if I like or hate the voice acting in this game. I think that's kind of the point. Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am an evil army. Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. Go on, my little snotlings. How did snotlings get over here? Oh, well, they're here now. I'm happy. Dahlia, level one. Right, let's get our treasury underway. They're building it. What's that? Oh, armor bonus. The I remember these things. helpers had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects the researching evil could pursue. The new improved research menu, TM, was now available. Wage reductions, an armor increase. Right, uh, we can now army. Where's research again? This army. Research the menu, here we go. Research menu TM opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Right, let's get me this farm and hide out. Let's go about building them. Let's place them. I think here, side by side, would probably be our best bet. Five by five. Five by five. Two five by five rooms. Get to work, snotlings. We'll keep them expanding out, following these gold trails. Be as well, see what's out there, though I probably shouldn't mine too far, just in case there's a little cavern with enemies. Do I have any spells I could use to defend myself? No, and I don't even have any mana. I can't even remember which... That's mana, isn't it? Yeah, mana there. That's evilness. <gasps> Zero evilness! I, I, I refuse to believe it. No, 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 that's a million. They just forgot a couple of... A one and a few zeros. It's a million evilness, okay? We've got our underworld and our overworld map. Yeah, nice music. Go somewhere evil. Ah. Yeah. Ah. This way. Yeah. Ah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop annoying folk now. I can still hear the nice music. No.
can hear the under evil nice down how much gold have I got plenty gold let's go back into the research get me more snotlings speed things up I don't have enough I need evilness it's payday it's lucky I've got no creatures and plenty of gold either way I think I'm hearing several of the musics overlaying each other at the moment. That is definitely a glitch. Five for five chickens or turkeys. Five for five layer. Get a building. So yeah, this is what I was talking about when I was saying this is look down here beta. I've obviously by clicking about the place unleashed several of the tunes which are all overplaying each other. Which is kind of funny. So yeah, obviously this game is a spiritual successor to Dungeon... Oh, there's a lot of gold there. That's going to ruin the ability of this place. Unless I make it a bigger room. 90% efficient than now. Let's get me... Couple of orcs, and a goblin. So two goblins and a third orc. We're up to five creatures. <clears throat> so yeah, this game is a spiritual successor to the Dungeon Keeper game. You know, they're already filling up this room pretty f full. But if it is not close enough to the original four yet, I couldn't recommend going out and trying War for the Overworld. It is uh, pretty true to the original spiritual successor, whereas this is more of a bring it to the modern era spiritual successor. So yeah, take your thing with you. Destroy and build, Hopefully conquer the no little... No one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. Wait, that's thingy my creatures. Army, this is what I want. Kill that spider. Kill the spider. Kill the spider. The spider's being a killed. Keep exploring. Oh, lots of gold. We have plenty of gold, but we're gonna max out our dungeon first of all. Right. That's not what I wanted to look at. This is what I wanted to look at. More creatures, research. Improve research. Improve research. A spider nest has been unearthed. This is gonna be eight. Where's the new spider's nest? Over here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. But oh well, we could always use more of them. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Get in there and help him out. Okay, the tunes overplaying each other starting to get quite annoying. Oh, I've still got this guy. Wouldn't it? Some experience for my creatures. Okay, the tunes. I'll just leave it. I was thinking about turning it off. And then maybe we could edit in some of my own music. Keep on tunneling. Seeing where things lead. The gold trails normally lead to nice things. Right. This is the wage the reduction. Snots have uncovered a dragon's nest. <clears throat> Give that to him. There we go. 
And let's give him the more armor. A dragon's nest, eh? Dragon lizard. We'll attack that soon, give them a little chance to heal. Meanwhile, we shall keep exploring. The music seems to have calmed down, which I'm grateful for. More snotlings. We'll get that for when I get some Naga. I want to be able to recruit Naga. We could improve her as well. Ooh, nice. Lots of stuff to get. We need evilness. Each level increases both the life energy and damage of all horde creatures. So, I get. You can buy it as many times as you want, but it gradually decreases. It's like it. Diminishing returns. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Terminology. Diminishing returns. Looks like it'll be a good site for another gold mine. You just get in there and kill me that a dragon. Get some experience. Oh, reinforcements are coming to help you. Payday. Have plenty of little turkeys. <laughs> Over here. Whoa, there's a lot of gold here. Let's go here. A wee bit of a gold mine. It's a lot of digging required. This. I'm guessing they're going to read right up to each other, so we'll do that. Do that. Get that there. Build me. Not really a lot of buildings at this point in time, is there? That there. What's this? Why is he on strike? Then go get your food! Idiot. Right. See some gold for me there. They're all busy. Let's have a wee trip to the overworld. I'll go to my army. We'll let that guy get ungrumpy first a wee bit and heal these two. The frugal. Can I drop food on him? There we go, yeah. Right now, heal. Go to sleep, good boy. Now heal. Now what's so wrong with you? You want to sleep? Oh, do I not have enough room for it to give you a layer? Okay. What's the easiest way to grab a snotling? A room has been excavated in the underground. Yeah, that's gonna lead up there like so. Efficiency 70%, yeah, that's gonna get down quite low until I get this built up. Right. go. We should have the room available now to give that guy his lair. I want the, I want the army, not that. There we go, he's building it. It's going to get built now. Oh, a couple of them didn't have layers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's perfect. The right amount of size now. Then we'll let them rest. Let's do a little bit more digging then before we go out. 
a little bit more exploring. What do we have over here and over there? There's lots of gold. We're absolutely loaded. Let's go into... Still getting used to this research. So we're loaded, we're just back a couple of... Oh, we need evilness now for that. Evilness for her. Okay, we've still got lots of gold. And let's view the army. He's a healing. Drop a turkey on him. Hopefully Have a turkey. A spider nest has been unearthed. That's all the way up there. We can just ignore them and attack them later. Alright, as for now, the army is if I keep clicking on the right one. Actually, what's just a hotkey? Aim? Right, so we're just gonna need to learn aim. There we go, into the overworld. Thanos must die. Blinding beams of light met the dauntless evil's creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <clears throat> Follow me. The armies of evil reached one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. The dungeon heart is being attacked. It is? You hey, everyone, back home, back home. It's somewhere under attack, apparently. What by? The spiders! Eh, uh, okay. I didn't think the spiders came after me. I thought they just stayed in their little lair. It's payday. I'm looking down there. Down here. Right, they're all coming back. <laughs> Come on, move, move, move. Get to the dungeon heart. The dungeon heart. They're coming, they're coming. I should have picked them up, but oh well. You come here. I don't want to. Ah, who cares? Let them mine it. There you go. Get some experience. Actually, she could use a wee bit of health. And stay down. Right. Ah, oh, she doesn't get experience. Only they do. Right. I'll let everyone have their payday. Music seems to be doing the right thing again now. Huh? What are they attacking? Does that spawn more or something? They're attacking the room itself. I think they're attacking the spider room itself. They must spawn more. Any more tunneling need to be done? I wish we could build more rooms. I want Naga. Naga are the ranged ones, aren't they? Right, lovely. Job done. Yep, it was the room. The room's gone. Brilliant. That means no more spiders spawning. Snots have dug out a new room. Thank you for the room, my little snots. Right. Discovered a new area, you've discovered a new... Oh, some more spiders. Oh, what is that? Diamond vein, infinite gold. That'll be quite handy. Let's get my army. I want everyone, because I want everyone to get experience. 
And a wee slap in there for good measure. We'll go back to the surface soon. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. We'll make a big treasury down here too. Well, we may build a second load of these rooms as well, because we don't really have a lot to build. I just want to build something different. Let's go over here. So there's not enough room there. I want it to be relatively close to the heart. Here, I think. There we go. That'll do. Oh, that's going to be quite small. Oh, where well, I was. Just... Oh, Actually, I know. Forget that. I'll just let them dig it. I'll build it here. There we go. Six by six. Okay. Lovely. Don't really feel like we need to research anything. Let's get the army again. It was M, wasn't it? There we go. Seven. A wee slap. Up he's come. Eh. Uh, okay. Where's the other creatures? Army. You're not up there. Get up there. You too. Evil will triumph. Right, now where were we? Oh yes, we're about to attack goody goo goody goody two shoes land. This is the area we walked through earlier. Right. Go get them. You attack those healers first. There's a wee bit more DPS on the healer. Get over there. How's everything health-wise? It's okay for now. So you, get out of there. Get out of there. A bit of micro goes a long way. Now everything on her. We should kill them before they kill me. The little town of good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface and something, yes, evil rose from the depths. This evilness, in a practical, spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah-blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily, or exclusively, used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Yes, the impatient evil did. Let's go down here and we'll get what I want. The Naga. The research the Naga. had unlocked some new research and immediately set about trying it out. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. The deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. As wow, even a blind man. Too, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men. Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently uh, teaching myself to play the ukulele. Teaching himself to play the ukulele. It's nice. So I wonder if it'll be safe to leave her here just to gather this. But anyway, we went slightly over the length of a normal part. Remember to comment to enter that giveaway. Um, 
this will be the last of the beta, so what I'm going to do is when the game's fully released, I'm just going to play up to about this point, then we'll pick it up from this stage in the full release of the game. So yeah, I'm very impressed so far, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are all enjoying it too. Join me all next time. Bye-zy-bye.